on Speak of the Devil, Ozzy recut all his vocals, right? In the studio, yeah, yeah, recut, yeah, recut all the vocals. Yeah, at um, was it Power Station? I think it was Power Station. No, Record Plant, New York. That's right, Record Plant, New York. Yeah, did that album in a real hurry, <laughs> four days. I always like to check things with uh, a person that was involved, and maybe uh, you wouldn't even be aware of it. But on Wikipedia, it talked about um, Speak of the Devil, and that the guys had refused to do the record with Sabbath tunes, so including Randy. But all the guys kind of were like, no, we don't want to do that record. Totally pissed off Ozzy is what it said. Sharon, oddly enough, they said was cool with it. But Ozzy went on a total drinking bender after they refused. And then it said that he fucked with Randy so much that eventually Randy said, okay, that's cool. I'll, I'll do the album. But that, they say that is when Randy said, I'm going to leave the band, but I'll fulfill my contract, which would have been one more album and one more tour, which would have been Bark at the Moon. Have you ever heard that story? Yes, I did hear that story, yeah. Um, I, I wasn't around when they were doing all the talking and all that shenanigans. So, yeah, I don't know actually what happened. I, I heard that story like third or fourth hand or whatever. I wasn't aware of it. I mean, it just came into the nuts and bolts, and we did. Uh, we recorded the show in the afternoon as well, and we ended up using uh, four or five tracks where there was no audience and had to kind of mess around with the uh, room mics and make it sound like it, there was a big audience. But I don't know. I don't know. I was uh, divorced from the politics at that point, so I had no idea. Right. Do you um, think that's possible? Yeah. Um, as far as I know, there was a contractual fulfillment required for Jet Records, I think. That's what I heard. And uh, the only way for him to fulfill it, really, without writing new tunes and going through all those motions, was to do this um, live double album, and that fulfilled the contract. But that's really all I kind of heard about it. You know, then when then I was just down there, and uh, Brad played great. The band kind of did pretty good. I think Brad did a, a tremendous job, considering he. I think he only had like two days to learn all the songs or something. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the politics and and you know what? It's quite possible that Randy wanted to get out of there. I hadn't spoke to him. I spoke to him um, about three weeks before he died. Um, I spoke to him on the phone. And I can't remember what the occasion was, but he, I do remember him saying he, would, he might get the train home because he didn't like flying, which turned out to be very kind of kind of a bummer that he said that because then he ended up being killed by an aeroplane. But I do remember him saying that. And, uh, yeah, it, it, that's basically what he said. He said he'd be back in L.A. in about three weeks and... Uh, He's probably going to get the train back overnight. And I forget where the tour was supposed to end up, maybe down south in Florida or something. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, that's the last time I spoke to him. It was about three weeks before he died. 